I got broads in Atlanta, just to throw in the family. Credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van. Legacies, family. Wayne C look like a family. All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Nevada's T-Mobile Arena. Been a lot of seminal moments in this building. I can think of one. It was a big one for me at UFC 2. Whoa! Oh! Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice punch there by Lee. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lunges forward with a left there. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Come on, man, I need more punches. Let's go. Throw those punches. 
He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice. Just misses there with the left. Body kick now by Luke. How about that shin? with that attempt. Nice defense there, huge block. All right, let's go, let's get those hands going now. Just over three minutes to go. Ooh, what a punch. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Until he blocks it, you better keep throwing those body kicks. Under three minutes remain in round one. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Try to establish that jab. Real nice body kick man. Good sequence of kicks there by Lee. And both guys really throwing with authority. He blocks the punch. He is all about that left kick to the body. Big kick land. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice head kick. So again, the combinations have been largely kicks from him tonight, and it's certainly been working for him. We don't see that very often. Normally, guys are punching. This guy leads the dance with his kicks. Oh, nice right hand. Nice sneaky head kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Looking to land the leg kick now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice jab there by Lee. Beautiful body kick. Oh, nice. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Final seconds of round one. Make the bad man stop. Oh. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Let's go. Get up. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Ball landed another strike to his opponent's liver. He continues to target that area and looks to buckle him once again. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Let him go. Time to let those 
attempts the front kick there. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you put one knee to the body. Right? Every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great timing. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. You got to check these low leg kicks. Went for the inside leg kick. Clipped him with the right hand there. Right on the button. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Three minutes to go in round two. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Great punch landed with so much power. Feel good. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Ooh, big shot, man. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. He's getting lazy with that jab now. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Head kick. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and it's a pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. That's a big strike right there. Come on, bud. Let's get those hands working now. 15 seconds. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, nice straight left. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round.
All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice strike. The combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus bits in his zone. Fight thus far, how's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gotta be over very soon. Oh! All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, big head kick. Nice punch by Lee. Right hand on point. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Right punches there. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. He can't take any of those kicks. Now connects with a right. Good stick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Work his head. Work his head. Oh, beautiful jab there by Lee. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Wow. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Knee to the body. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Can't take many of those. You better check. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, start, he'll change his stance. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Nice punch, man. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Connects now with the one-two. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Nice. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. He missed with that jab attempt there. He blocks the shot. Oh, where is he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh! Lands the right hand. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Superman punch. 
just misses with the left hook. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rates, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big kick. Okay, okay. Right, nice shot to the body there. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Sneaky head kick. Oh, nice counter jab there. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Big kick land. Oh, yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Ooh, blocks the shot. Continues to work the body here. Keep moving. Unable to land with that punch. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big body kick. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he might be out. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. <laughs> oh, effective strike there by Lee. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Lands the double jab. Just over two minutes to go. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Straight punch land. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. Nice kick there by Lee. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Nice straight punch. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes! <laughs> just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout.
So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called a stop for this contest at three minutes, 47 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that.